first genocidal act committed by Israel is the mass killing of Palestinians in Gaza. It is a privilege to appear on behalf of the Republic of South Africa in this case of exceptional importance. It's a case that underscores the very essence of our shared humanity as expressed in the preamble to the Genocide Convention. It's my task to address the court on the genocidal acts that have led to this urgent request for provisional measures under Article 41 of the Statute of the Court. South Africa contends that Israel has transgressed Article 2 of the Convention by committing actions that fall within the definition of genocide. The actions show a systematic pattern of conduct from which genocide can be inferred. Allow me to place these acts in context. Gaza is one of the two constituent territories of the occupied Palestinian territories, occupied by Israel since 1967. It is a narrow strip of approximately 365 square kilometers, as depicted in the map now displayed. Israel continues to exercise control over the space, territorial waters, land crossings, water, electricity, electromagnetic sphere, and civilian infrastructure in Gaza, as well as over key governmental functions. As the Honorable Minister has said, entry and exit by air and sea to Gaza is prohibited with Israel operating the only two crossing points. Gaza, which is one of the most densely populated places in the world, is home to approximately 2.3 million Palestinians, almost half of them children.
past 96 days, Israel has subjected Gaza to what has been described as one of the heaviest conventional bombing campaigns in the history of modern warfare. Palestinians in Gaza are being killed by Israeli weaponry and bombs from air, land, and sea. They are also at immediate risk of death by starvation, dehydration, and disease as a result of the ongoing siege by Israel, the destruction of Palestinian towns, the insufficient aid being allowed through to the Palestinian population, and the impossibility of distributing this limited aid while bombs fall. This conduct renders essentials to life unobtainable. the specific and ongoing genocidal acts complained of. It is clear that at least some, if not all of these acts, fall within the Convention's provisions. These acts are documented in detail in South Africa's um, application and confirmed by reliable, often UN, sources. It's thus unnecessary and impossible for me to recount all of them. I will highlight only some in order to illustrate the pattern of genocidal conduct. The UN statistics that are relied upon are up to date as of 9 January 2024. In South Africa's oral submissions, we will illustrate the facts that we rely on with limited use of audiovisual material. Madam President, we do so with restraint and only where necessary and always with respect to the Palestinian people. Against this background, I move now to demonstrate in turn how Israel's conduct violates Articles 2A, 2B, 2C, and 2D of the Convention. The right to exist exists through the attest to the rights of the Palestinians. The right to discuss this issue is the right to discuss this issue. The right to discuss this issue is the right to discuss this issue. The right to discuss this issue is the right to discuss this issue. The right to discuss this issue is the right to discuss this issue. The first genocidal act committed by Israel is the mass killing of Palestinians in Gaza. The level of Israel's killing is so extensive that nowhere is safe in Gaza. As I stand before you today, 23,000 
210 Palestinians have been killed by Israeli forces during the sustained attacks over the last three months. At least 70% of whom are believed to be women and children. To put congressional order for provisional measures, only where the provisions relied upon by the applicant appear prima facie to afford a basis on which its jurisdiction. Some 7,000 Palestinians are still missing, presumed dead under the rubble. Palestinians in Gaza are subjected to relentless bombing wherever they go. They are killed in their homes, in places where they seek shelter, in hospitals, in schools, in mosques, in churches, and as they try to find food and water for their families. They have been killed if they failed to evacuate in the places to which they have fled, and even while they attempted to flee along Israeli declared safe routes. The level of killing is so extensive that those whose bodies are found are buried in mass graves, often unidentified. <laughs> In Gaza, the application further states that Israel we are also particularly mindful of Israel's institutionalized regime of discriminatory laws, policies and practices designed and maintained to establish domination subjecting the Palestinian people to apartheid on both sides of the Green Line. Decades-long impunity for widespread and systematic human rights violations has emboldened Israel in its recurrence and intensification of international crimes in Palestine. Israel! Israel!